Hello, this is Channel Layer Race, and today I will show you how to emit particles from a text layer inside Adobe After Effects. And this will be done without using any third party plugins. So we will be creating something like this. And good thing about it is that you can very easy just open your composition and enter any text you want and this will update with the particles so this is very easy to change and okay let's start make new comp Okay, first type our text. Sometimes text is invisible if you uh, enabled caps lock, so you have to disable caps lock. Okay, I will be using only stroke, no fill for this example. And stroke width will be for example, let's make it four. Okay, let's now pre-compose this text comp. Also, we can make a little bit simple animation for our text. Let's go inside with comp, double click, and let's draw A rectangle like this go inside rectangle transform and scale and uncheck constraint proportions also select this tool and drag this anchor point right here Okay, now let's animate our rectangle. Select first frame on the timeline and hit stopwatch and go, for example, to frame number for, for two, to two seconds in the timeline. Okay, and let's increase scale until it covers the text like this okay let's add a little effect called turbulent displays let's make size 50 and amount 200 okay let's see okay in at the start of a timeline it shouldn't touch the text so let's go again inside and turn down scale a little bit more turn down scale like that and select last keyframe and hit f9 to open up keyframes just select layer and hit u and this will open keyframes. Okay, now select text layer and inside track mat select alpha mat. As you can see, this will reveal our text. Okay, that's it for so this quick animation. Now go and let's go and create our particles. Search for particle systems two. Particle particle world doesn't work only particle systems okay select and drag on our comp now go to physics and select velocity 0.1 gravity 0.1 resistance for example let's check 10 
Okay. Now go to producer and increase width so it covers all the text. Something like this, about 60 and 20. And go inside particle and hit source alpha inheritance. And as you can see, it already emits particles from our text layer. Again, go to physics and let's change velocity to 0 0.05 maybe. Okay, this looks all right. Maybe we can increase a little bit gravity, like something. And also we can increase birth rate. For example, like let's make 20. Okay. Let's change our particle type to faded sphere. And let's select birth five 0 0.05. And the same for depth size. Okay, let's change color a little bit. Now let's make our text a little bit more visible. S select this composition and hit Control D to duplicate. And go to physics and enter velocity zero, gravity zero. Let's uh, solo this layer. Let's see how it looks. Okay, let's increase our particle count to 100, maybe 100, 150. Okay, maybe 120. Okay, also let's increase particles for our first comp to about 100. Let's try this. Also, I would like to decrease size a little bit more. 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. Maybe 3 and 3. Really, you have to play with the settings. Okay, let's uh, add a glow to our first, I mean to our second top comp. We can add glow okay so now we have glow one with these settings and glow and second one with these settings and we can also add glow to this layer let's make Okay, let's add a little bit more detail. Select first comp with falling particles and hit Control D to duplicate again. And select now bottom layer and go to let's delete glows and go to birth rate and let's change to about 40 and let's change birth size to 0.5 and depth size to 
0.5. Let's maybe birth size. Let's set it to 0 0.2 and change max capacity to 10. Maybe 20. Maybe increase a little bit particles and decrease opacity. Again, you have to play with the settings. Let's see how this looks. And okay, I think that's it for this quick tutorial. Let's see how it looks in the end, as you can see. And it, it emits particles only from the visible layer. So you can create all types of animations using this technique. And also you will find the project file for this tutorial in the description down below. And okay, thanks for watching and bye.